He actually, the decision here was if you uh, send him back to warn Cedric, he'll become an ally. Otherwise, he gets captured and reprogrammed. Uh, and so, so he becomes an enemy. So it's probably better to send him back anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna yeah, go solo. I, I, yeah, there's some of the... Well, I'll wait till that conversation finishes. Yeah. And you do battle. You are to be terminated. So this is where the battle starts. We gotta kill them all by ourselves because the blue robot kind of freezes the game. Hellfire helps. Without Hellfire, I'd basically be screwed. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> kind of why I put it in this. It's like I got a lot of enemies. Uh, Dink's supposed to be powerful. I'm throwing in Hellfire. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there's some. Uh, oh yeah, that that explode. You can barely see it. There's sort of an explosion animation there. That yeah. Sphinx, Sphinx made. You can sometimes catch little glimpses of it. Ah, for right. the uh, robots. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, so, uh, so these, these are. Uh, the Hellfire actually helps because they'd be pretty overpowered if you only had a sword. Yeah. You're supposed yeah. to, you know, still be a pretty uh, powerful warrior. Not not gonna gimp Dink like most of the other mods. And, yeah. you know, for anybody who hasn't played Dink, there's. During the old versions, you couldn't do have them. Basically, anything that has hit points bleeds. So there wasn't really much I could do about, you know, the blood coming out. Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah. So you did actually look into, like, yeah. Yeah. The newer versions, you can uh, modify that, though. Yeah, uh, it's not it's not really a, a major problem, though. Like, yeah. I hardly noticed it, actually, until you just mentioned it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, there's a few plot points, um, especially when you talk to the uh, person coming up that... Uh, I definitely would have re rewritten because they don't make sense. And if you're paying any attention to the storyline, it'll be pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah. So you're not Peter? I was. Well, at least I was for the past few weeks. What are you talking about? Well, let me put it this way the real Peter is dead, Dink. He's been dead for at least a month now. Yeah, that, that part you? I don't know what I was doing there. <laughs> yeah, I had some sort of plan roll. for it, but it didn't. I've forgotten it, and it just basically seems just like yeah, make no sense. Yeah, but um, so he he's basically saying the usual. I'm gonna take over the world. I'm an evil psycho, dude. I've kicked everyone else's ass. So what makes you so special? First of all, I control an unstoppable army of robots. Oh yeah, those robots are real tough. I destroyed how many on my way here? Alright, maybe that was a bad example. But I have far stronger bots than those. As well as a great array of my own powers. You done prat prattling on yet? Almost. Do you have any questions before I send you into oblivion? Okay, where the hell did you come from? How did you get here? How did you rebuild this island? And why in the world did you bring us here? Haha, <laughs> I'm glad you asked, Dink. It seems over the years you've made many powerful enemies, Dink. Yeah, and I killed them all. Would you stop interrupting me? No. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and that, now, normally I wouldn't bother with a weakling like you. These enemies happen to be very good friends of mine. And ridding them of you will make them quite happy. Why the hell should you care if they're happy or not? Simple. Without them, none of what you see before you would have been possible. Your friends are Sphinx and Striker? <laughs> <laughs> no, who in the world are they? The makers of this D-Mod. What the hell are you talking about? I have no idea. As I was saying, part of my deal with them was to eliminate you. What deal? I grow weary of your in incessant questions. Now you'll die. Yeah, sure, whatever. Eat fire. How in the... So basically he's really powerful and he's about to use a spell on, on Dink that well, you can't walk because he's obviously frozen you. Now I shall show you some of my true power and there you go. Yet owned by lightning. And thus ends the life of our beloved hero. Of course this demo would suck if it ended here. So, Dink's basically dead. Well, I'll be damned. 
He really did send me into oblivion. This sucks. <laughs> Where'd you come from? Uh, come with me. Me and my ripped sprite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Avatar. What did I do to end up here? I get that a lot. But it is not my place to know. Who are you? I'm known as the Striker. You should be honoured. I'm only upon to I'm only called upon to retrieve the most powerful souls and take them to their destinations. I basically threw this in there because Sphinx had his own little scene, so I was like, I wanna put myself in here somewhere. Yeah. So What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, uh, Sphinx is in the next part, I think, yeah. Yeah. Right here. His sprite kinda <laughs> doesn't match as well. <laughs> so. Yeah, and there was the actually shoot. there was a, a wave file here that was in the original uh, I think it was like yeah. in one point oh six that was taken out of one point oh seven and one point oh eight. Yep. So that's there should right. be music here normally. Ah uh, right, yeah. Yeah, but this is all this is all Sphinx's dialogue. He wrote this part. Yeah. With all the <laughs> all the cheeks and all that. Yeah. So there we go. Yes. <laughs> No, what's happening? You're being summoned back into the world of the living. Don't kill yourself or commit any major sins or you won't be allowed back here. At least you know what's waiting for you. So, yeah, you know. Yeah. Look, this is Martridge, all... Martridge ruins everything. Yeah. What the? <laughs> this is all Sphinx's stuff now. What's going on? I summoned you back from the grave. No way, Martridge, why? You weren't supposed to die yet. You must defeat Roller and save the land. No, that again. Huh? Hey, what's happened to my body? I'm not even I'm not even just skin and bones, I'm just bones. Oh, that. Well, I didn't have your body, so I had to create one to hold your soul. Jeez, you could have at least given me some skin. Uh no, if I had if I had about it any more, it would have been too difficult for your spirit to enter. Besides, uh, do you have any idea how hard it is to make one of these? But how am I supposed to pick up babes like this? <laughs> <laughs> Good point. I'll look into it. Martridge, you gotta fix me. Go defeat Roller, I'll find a solution. Ah, uh, bye. And then he like goes psycho and leaves. <laughs> Martridge, come back. Jeez. Damn, I lost 27 levels. That really blows. Yeah, so it's actually like better when you introduce, a, like, make a D mod where he starts with his stats and then loses them because it's more realistic, I guess. Yeah. Going on from the previous adventures. So basically, uh, I'm just gonna like kill a couple of these pill bugs and then end this part. <laughs> this one. Be it. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> so basically, you kill the the pill bugs and the ghost of the pill bug pops out. Yeah. It's a pretty neat feature, I'm not... It was something yeah. he had in the original and I thought it was pretty cool, but I'm not sure how it would've... Like, working around it started to become sort of a problem, though, as I, I went throughout I the game. It, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Like, yeah. No, I like it. I I would've figured yeah. it, tried to figure out something... It some way to it integrate it a little better into the yeah. main game. Anyway, so that ends this part, and we'll see All you right. next time, so see you later. Cool.